if there was a new kid in your class? What if they looked, thought, and acted differently to you? What if others in your class would pick on them and call them names because they were different? What if they pushed and shoved them and even spat on them? What if they told lies about them and got them into trouble with the teachers? And what if the teachers started treating them unfairly? What if the students had to wear a different uniform than you? And if they didn't, they would be punished by having their lunch taken from them and they would not be allowed to buy food from the canteen. What if they confiscated their laptops and books and gave them to other students? What if this new student was taken from your class and put into a class with other people like them? What if this class had lower education because they were regarded as inferior? What if the teachers unfairly and systematically expelled all of these students for no other reason than who they were? In Europe, before the world wars, Jews were being discriminated against because they dressed and lived differently and they spoke in another language called Yiddish. Sometimes the public even went out with the intention to kill the Jews en masse. This was called a pogrom. Soon enough, the hate spread to the people in power, namely Adolf Hitler. From the 1st of September 1939 to the 2nd of September 1945, he started taking away their rights. At first, he took away the right to own a business, then they had to wear an armband featuring the Star of David, and if they did not comply, they would not be allowed to buy or sell anything. Soon after that, he took them away to live in a concentration camps in the east of Europe. There, they separated the women, children, elderly, and sick from the fit men. The fit men went to work in the camps, and the rest went straight to the gas chambers. They kept a record of the number of the people they killed, and they killed two-thirds of the population of Jews in Europe in the six years of World War II. So how can we stop this from happening again? Well, we need to stop it early on. The reason that Hitler made the Jews wear armbands instead of going right to the killing stage was because he needed to slowly segregate them to the point that they could mistreat them and the general public would not object, not even to their torture or death. So we need to be aware of any movement that leads to segregation and loss of rights for any minority. We need to be watching out for it and say, hey, that's not okay. If we have rights and good standing in our community, if we are part of the majority with power and control, we need to look out for the minorities, those who are oppressed and disempowered. We need to speak out for those who do not have a voice. First, they came for the communists, and I did not speak out, because I'm not a communist. Then they came for the socialists, and I did not speak out, because I am not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out, because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out, because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak out for me.